though we do have the high productivity, yes. but we do have quite big pay. It's uh, not equivalent in between in productivity really. and exactly. the human capacity, the building institute yes. under the FTI. Ah, okay. So the big mission is the, to help improve or leverage our labor productivity for the industry. In terms of those labor force, I think we need to classify in two big groups. Mm. One is uh, unskilled labor and one is skilled labor. Yes. Swadika, welcome to Thailand today. I'm Kusuma Yota Asmut. The Federation of Thai Industries, or FTI, has found that a number of institutes to cope with industrial expansion, which its members are eligible to grant benefits from the institutes and offices within FTI networks, where they belong to the human capacity Building Institutes, or HCBI, was founded in 2002. And its task is to promote the capacity building of personal, emphasizing on industrial competitiveness at in international level, including merging ac academic sector and industrial sectors as one tie. Thailand today will speak to Mr. Govit Wong Gon Kitsin, Vice Chairman, Human Capacity Building Institute of the Federation of Thai Industries about Thai industry can add value through improved human capacity. Please join me to welcome to Mr. Govit Wong Gon Kitsin, he is a Vice Chairman, Human Capacity Building Institute at the Federation of Thai Industry. Sawadika. Very welcome to Thailand today, sir. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, we are going to talk a very important topic, that is the promotion of the capacity building personal, emphasizing on industrial competitiveness at the international level. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is a good opportunity. We have been learning that uh, Thai labor all over the world, very good, yeah. very strong, very, what do you call, hardworking. Mm -hmm. so, are we losing that balance? Are we losing from the, the position now? Uh, yes. If we talk about the labor quality, yes. so in terms of skills, yes. I think we do have the quite very good skills mm. in the industrial uh, and the manufacturing uh, industries. Yes, sir. So mm -hmm. especially when we're comparing with the Asian countries, mm -hmm. so I think we, I, I really confident that our labor quality will be the number one. Mm. But our obstacle is that uh, if we talk about a, uh, a, a labor wage, mm. so in this century we do have the, a labor wage problem. Yeah. In a few years ago, from exactly. the government promotion of uh -huh. the minimum labor wage along the nationwide, uh -huh. so that could make our labor productive would mm. be a lower when we comparing with the incomes. Mm. So it means that uh, in the overall point of view, so we may say that uh, a Thai country mm. going into the middle income trap. Mm. So it means that uh, even though we do have the high productivity, yes. but we do have quite big pay. It's uh, not equivalent in between the productivity really. and exactly. the pay. Mm. So that's our, our problem right now. Mm. So the Federation is the, of Thai industry. When did, when, when did you have it uh, uh, done? But when did you settle this uh, Federation? Uh, when was it? Founded. Uh, when the, did you found it? The Federation of Thai Industry has been found over 50 years ago. Five, 50 years ago? Right. Mm. So, so since uh, that, uh, the Thai country has been grown up from the agricultural country. Exactly. So then we do adopt our manufacturing. Mm -hmm. So in that mm -hmm. case, the, our Federation of Thai Industry has been established mm -hmm. to help promoting the industry here in Thailand. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you mm -hmm. talk about the uh, human capacity, the uh, building in institute under yes. the FTI. Ah. So we just established around 15 years ago. Oh, so okay. the big mission is the, to help improve or leverage our labor productivity mm. for the industry. Mm. So can you explain the, the greater details about mm -hmm. uh, the vision and the roles of the human capacity okay. building institute? Yeah, okay. So if we talk about the role less bond for the HCBI, mm -hmm. uh, I think we will talk about quite academic okay. about the labor productivity <laughs> and labor development. Okay. So 
mm -hmm. uh, to make audience the, who watch the program to understand. Uh -huh. I like to start from the framework of the human capacity. Okay. If we talk about the human mm -hmm. capacity, mm -hmm. uh, I think we have a few factors mm -hmm. to be clear understand each other. One is the competency, Ex right? Yes. Which is containing mm -hmm. about the, for the knowledge, mm -hmm. abilities, mm -hmm. skills, mm -hmm. or individual behaviors. Right. We call faithfulness. <laughs> right, individual behaviors. Okay. Okay. But uh, in order to strengthen all those factors, uh -huh. we should need some institution structures mm -hmm. to be promoted mm -hmm. and encourage the people mm -hmm. to get trained. Mm -hmm. right? And uh, beside that, we have the big obstacle mm -hmm. of the individual uh, yeah, in yeah. order to develop such kind of skills. Mm -hmm. It's like an instinct, like that, yes. attitude, uh -huh. mindset, uh -huh. moreover, and the uh, institute side. Uh -huh. So we do need uh, a certain clear process mm. how yes. to develop and promote yes and then we have enough resource mm -hmm. to to help improve the development process mm. so all those factors is correlated with the human capacity mm. right mm -hmm. which is a uh, our organization, even mm -hmm. the company, would need to enhance mm -hmm. or continuing development, uh, all those uh, activity or all those uh, competencies of mm -hmm. the labor force mm -hmm. in the company, mm -hmm. and to make sure that uh, they can serve the company wants mm -hmm. and need in mm -hmm. order to survive in the industry. Yes. yes. So beside that, mm -hmm. on the vertical line of those factors, as far as we strengthen all those factors, mm -hmm. it means that uh, we can leverage our mm -hmm. human capacity to mm -hmm. be grow up mm. to be improved. Mm -hmm. This is overall viewpoint of the uh, human capacity. So then uh, by that viewpoint and by that framework, yes. so our HCBI, mm -hmm. so we have, uh, we establish the visions. Mm -hmm. We establish the vision. Yes. So our vision is that the HCBI would be the very strong institute, very mm -hmm. strong organized, mm -hmm. and uh, to be mm -hmm. uh, a leader company beside the private sector mm -hmm. to dictate yeah. or uh, indicate the policy to the government, especially mm -hmm. in terms of education policy, mm -hmm. you know. And then also we we we, we wish to uh, to promote and develop the labor productivity mm. to entire organization mm. and industry, mm. and to help improve the working efficiency or the company efficiency within the industry. Mm. And this one to make sure that all our company or all institute mm. would be grow up sustainable. Mm. This is our big vision. So so we we'll make it in a simple language. Yeah. Um, the company that jo joined the federation right. uh, have to be to call all the labor people, the, mm -hmm. the workers, to what you call to go through certain exercising, to go through certain uh, educational mm -hmm. portion or something like that. Uh, Actually, we have to look back on the overall circumstance mm. of the labor development, which is really much correlated with the mm. educators, e e education. Mm. Uh, I, I think, in fact, we have to realize, we have to accept that uh, in the Thailand countries, mm. the government is not so pay so much attention for the human development for a long years. Mm. Maybe exactly. Like 10 years or 20 I'm years. Asking you this. So then, uh, oh. this is a kind of very important mm. factors mm. Uh, in the viewpoint of the FTI or Federation mm. of Thai Industry mm. Mm. that we, we should need to help and improve our industry. Into so in terms of human resources, uh -huh. so yes. coming, uh, that's why the, the FTI decided to establish the HCBI yes. or Human Capacity Building Institutes yes. to working uh -huh. along mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. So then capture with the current mm -hmm. uh, circumstance, mm -hmm. uh, we do have some problem, mm -hmm. education side and mm. the labor side. The labor side, yeah. Right. So if we talk about la individual labor side, we mm -hmm. may say that our labor has not enough quality. Yes. Right. Exactly. But for, for the education side, you know, they say that we have built up the, the, the graduated, mm -hmm. fulfilled with the knowledge. Mm -hmm. But industrial side say that all graduated is not meet demand of the industry. A kind of issues happen. Can, can it be? I think the graduate, the people with education, do not like to work in the labor <laughs> level, right? right? So we we feel such a thing also. Yeah, right? I mean uh, say that because this is a, like a kind of perceptual. 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 Yeah. Right. So anyway, so anyway, let's get back to this. Uh, so how to increase the human capacity 
which is the key to adding the value okay. of the Okay, so economy. our institute, we have the four big missions. Yes, sir. The first mission is mm. to uh, enhance and develop the en or engage with mm. our network mm -hmm. to the nationwide. Mm. So mm. not only private sector, but also yeah. the government sectors mm. to, to make sure that once we we establish or create an attack activity to improve the mm. labor force ah. that can be deployed along mm. nationwide. Mm. It's our mm. big mission. Mm. The one. second one the to second. collaborate with the, the government body, mm. especially mm. the educational sector, mm. to dictate or indicate the, the education policy. Okay. Right. Okay. So to, yes. to be sure that uh, the graduated mm. would have enough competency Mm. and ready to enter link really? into the labor market. Okay. Right. Mm. The number three is that to help improve to promote the labor productivity mm -hmm. through entire country. Mm. And the last mm. one to imp not only the individual labor side, but also the company side. Mm. So they need to understand, yes. right, like a yes. crapping hand. Uh, the both side. Yeah, it both sides. So both side. The labor side and the company both, side. Both sides. So we also uh, help improve to uh, or encourage the industrial sector, mm. you know, to be understand about the productivity mm. and uh, how to improve their productivity. Mm. So that was the big four mission of our institute. Mm. So once we have these four missions fulfilled, right. we are going to produce a very good, good labor, force. labor And the labor in your in Europe in the perception, what level? Uh, all level? All level. From the from the buildings, from the from the loaded, really. From the unskilled. From the unskilled. To be skilled. Okay. Even though the uh, vocational technicians. Interesting. Bachelor. So that is from now on that Thailand it will be in the position of our export again. Right. We do normally we use the export labor force. Not export anymore, I think. Anymore. <laughs> so, so with this. That's why I'm asking you as a, as a vice chairman of mm -hmm. this. Uh, so with this uh, improvement and everything, are we be able to export now? Uh, actually, yeah. we can do. We can. Yeah. I, I, I really confident that our Thai mm. labor force has very, very much uh, knowledge and skills. Mm. Very much. And we wanted. Much. The point is they are wanted by many countries to, to receive the Thai workforce. Uh, right? In some level. Uh, in some level. Uh, or the skill mm. level. I mean, it's not office workers, mm. not blue collar. Yeah. The skill level. I think the, over, the, the foreign country uh, really must need our labor, labor force. force. Yes, right, because force. we have this, you know, we have quite strong point. Uh, one, the high skill. Yes. Second one is easy to adapt. Mm, exactly. in, uh, yeah, easy to adapt in terms of the in terms of, of working experience. Mm. So I'm not not talk about the attitude or mindset. <laughs> the another issues. Uh, exactly. Okay. So can you share with us the the current working plans mm -hmm. that you were mentioning? I think to increase the human development. Okay. So before that, I'd like to yes. to share the circumstance yes, of please. the industry. Oh yes, please. Right. So, as I mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, the Thailand country was grew up by the agricultural com country. country yes. So then we do uh, more value added mm. into the country. Mm -hmm. So we we just starting the the in, uh, manufacturing industry, mm. and then uh, at first the man do and those manufacturing is for uh, to to substitute the imported mm. goods, mm -hmm. and uh, the mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. the third step is that to be. Uh, to make the you know quite competitive price of products and goods mm -hmm. fulfill with the uh, national requirement, mm -hmm. and after that we can improve our cost competitiveness. Mm -hmm. Then we can go export. Mm -hmm. This is a this mm -hmm. is a kind of uh, manufacturing policy from the government in the past 50 years. Mm -hmm. So right now the, we are almost an export oriented country. Yes. You know? Oh really? Yeah. Good yeah. news to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> and then the, what what is the circumstance is that mm -hmm. see the in the industrial sector mm -hmm. has been grow up terms to terms. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Until now we have very much, you know, high capacity. Mm -hmm. But our problem is we have not enough labor force, labor force. in these days. Mm -hmm. This is a big issue. Yes. We have not enough labor force. Actually what is the main point of that? What's happening? Ah uh, many factors. Okay. Uh, yeah. the first one mm -hmm. our economic scale of of manufacturing or mm. even the services mm. industry mm -hmm. has been 
big expansion Expand, yeah. during oh. the past decade. Okay. Right. Yes. And then our mostly of our industry still mm. rely on the labor force. Mm. Which means that their process is still uh, labor intensive. So then once we, we need to improve the capacity or increase the capacity, mm -hmm. we need to add in more head count. Okay. But the, our problem is uh, the Thailand country, we do have about 70 million populations, mm -hmm. about 39.5 million people are in the working age. Mm -hmm. So then over 20 million mm -hmm. has been employed under the government side. Mm -hmm. And then the, all those less than uh, 20 million mm -hmm. to be chair. Mm. within the service industry ah. and manufacturing industry. Mm. And then, see that uh, the country was adapted to be the mm. manufacturing country 50 mm. years ago. Mm -hmm. So at the time after World War mm -hmm. II, we do mm -hmm. have the Generation X people, then they are going to be retired right retire now. now. Ah. So it means that workforce number is going mm. to decline mm. year by year. Beside that, mm -hmm. uh, you know that our mm -hmm the newborn or the new baby globe mm -hmm. during the past four years, mm -hmm. our baby goal rate is less than 1%. Yes. So it means that it's yeah, unbalanced, unbalanced in between the people yeah. to retire mm -hmm. and the newborn. Mm -hmm. But meantime, our economic like to expand the capacity. Mm -hmm. That's a big, uh, big obstacle or uh, big significant that we have shortage of labor force mm -hmm. in the market right mm -hmm. now. So just to, this this federation has been now started with all this. Yeah, you have been starting. You have, how long you have been doing it? In the SCBI, yes, SCBI. almost fifteen years. For for this for for this development. Yeah. So uh, what is the outcome until this minute? We're still short. We're yeah, still we're still short. short. We're, yeah. we're still short. Mm -hmm. So in terms of labor shortage, I think we have two parts. One okay. is a quantity side. Uh -huh. One is a quality side. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. For the quantity side. Uh, we, we, we cannot uh, encourage the people to make more baby, right? <laughs> uh, uh, the, uh, what we have to, to understand uh, is that in order to capture all those demand mm. of the goods productions, okay. we need to expand our capacity. Mm. We have to shift our manufacturing process from the labor intensive mm. to become the capital intensive. Mm. Use more machinery, more machinery, use more automations, oh. use more equipment. Okay. So by yeah. that case, we can re help reduce our workforce number mm. in this company. Mm. This could be move, this mm. could be shift. Mm. If not, we, we have, we're going to have the limited of the capacity. Mm -hmm. Meantime, the, 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 the population or processing power getting more and more. Get more, and more. So it's become unbalanced. It's and then we need to import the product and goods again. Mm -hmm. So it's not good for the country. Mm -hmm. So that in terms of, of quantity. Mm -hmm. So we have to adapt mm -hmm. or move our process from labor intensive to become the capital intensive. Mm -hmm. That what the a quantity side. Mm -hmm. And second one for the quality. Yes. Once we want to adapt our manufacturing process or even the service process mm -hmm. from the current labor intensive become the capital, mm -hmm. surely the labor force need more knowledge yes. and skills. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. by this would reflect to the quality of graduated mm -hmm. who entering into the labor market. Yeah. Whether enough or not enough. Mm -hmm. Because so far the education side and the industrial side mm. is not well you collaborated. Oh, yeah. So what, what is the industrial demand is never input into mm. the educational mm. policy. Mm -hmm. mm. So then the, the education institute just make an edu educated student mm. by number, by number but as not a KPI, by the, oh. but maybe not match yeah. with the industrial demand. Uh. So a kind of, yes. of obstacle okay. has been mm -hmm. occurred in mm -hmm. the Thailand during the past decade. Mm -hmm. So what we talk about the labor shortage, we have two terms. Mm -hmm. I remind, one is quality, quality. one is quantity. Mm -hmm. So that what the it, not going inside with no. one to another. No, mm -hmm. exactly no. So should we be satisfied with the human capacity of our workforce now? As you said. We're not balancing, so mm -hmm. you're not satisfied. This is an yeah, answer. Correct. For so the no industrial answer. side, we are yes. not satisfied. Yes. So when we talk this issue, the government side said, oh, the, the private sector mm. would collaborate. Mm. Yes, of course, we need to collaborate. Yes. Why don't they? 
that how to collaborate. How to collaborate, yes. Yeah. Mm. You know that we know that the government sector we have so many body. Mm. How to in, how the government integrate all those mm. government body mm. Mm -hmm. and to fulfill with the same activity, mm. with the same direction or the mm. same policy mm. together with the private sector. The br brain drain is also one of the problem of us. Uh, maybe a little bit, only a little, a little bit. bit. Not a little, little bit, only. Not a little yeah. bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe not many. Yeah. Yeah, you know the the Thailand top company, okay. a big company uh -huh. like S C G, P T T Group. Uh -huh. They employ a lot number of the physical doctor within the company. Okay. They're not brand in, not not so much. Okay. Not so much. I think people would like to stay back, being a Thai, and you have you are educated. Yeah. I think the, the salary now will be better now. So how do we perform uh, compare with the rest of the world? Uh, actually, we have to know the our our, our state, mm. you know, our status quo. Mm. What is status quo? Mm. I think we have better benchmark our labor productivity mm. with other country, and yes. we have we have to accept that one. Mm. See, like uh, the World Bank research from last years, mm. <coughs> there is uh, <coughs> the Ash the country labor labor productivity within the Asian country mm -hmm. from the starting from 2008 mm. before uh, Lehman shock yeah. up until last years. Okay, fortunately or unfortunately, <laughs> the the research papers say that. That Thailand would be a negative factors or a negative indicators or index uh -huh. against all those countries. So it means that our productivity is getting lower, compelling mm. the wedge. Higher. Yeah. Mm. So it means that exactly, you know, uh, this information telling us that we are going to be the middle income trap. Exactly. So by this, I mean that uh, I mean the labor force will be getting higher mm. in terms of financial payment, mm -hmm. and then uh, that could lead our goods and products. Mm. So their cost is getting higher. Mm. This means that we do lose our competitiveness mm. against another country. Yeah, yeah. Okay. In another terms, if we're comparing other countries in terms of uh, uh, innovations uh -huh. or technical knowledge of yes. the labor force mm -hmm. we are not so bad we are not so bad okay. we are not so bad good, good news good yeah. news yeah but how do you see about the asian economic uh, community that we mm -hmm. are here so adding up to the need of the to improve the human capacity capacity and um, priority to mm -hmm. that, this part of it so in fact among the asian country they are mm -hmm. watching uh, thailand models mm -hmm. how to how do we improve mm -hmm. the the labor productivity mm -hmm. or labor quality so mm -hmm. this this is a fact mm -hmm. because you know we are penetrated in the industrial industry for over 50 years mm -hmm. and that that country just opened mm -hmm. just for yeah. the decade so they are watching us how yeah. how do, how do we, we do how uh -huh. do we uh -huh. so in terms of those labor force i think we need to classify in two mm -hmm. big group mm -hmm. one is uh, unskilled labor and one is a skilled labor. Yes. So skilled labor our thailand skilled labor is very much high level. High level. Oh, so they yes. need to keep learning or dispatch from the, all those expertise mm. from Thai country mm. to working in their country and help improve or training their, their local people. Mm. But in the meantime, some country like to exchange mm. right, the, force, the, the workforce. The workforce yes. See, they send mm. a, a, a kind of foreigner labor force mm. come in Thailand yeah. officially. Yeah, right? we can see that, yes. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, by supporting from the government. Uh, Right, but uh -huh. uh, they request the Thai, Thai side to they send so. the, to ship the expertise mm. to help training their people in the mm. country. Mm. They, they like they like Thailand to be like a training institutions. What's the good news over the uh, AEC country? Uh, but we have to capture this point. Uh -huh. How can we leverage our strength mm. over the Asian country mm. among the AEC communities? Yeah. That mm. what our you know opportunity. So we are ending by thank you, Mr. Kovit Wong Kon Kitsin, Vice Chairman, Human Capacity Building Institute, the Federation of Thai Industry. Thank you so much for thank being you here. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Please do come back. We need yes, you. for sure. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much. 
Thailand Today appreciates the time of Mr. Govit Wongkon Kitsin, Vice Chairman of the Federation of Thai Industries Human Capacity Building Institute, who explained the potential economic benefits Thailand would gain thanks to effective human capacity building. Thank you for watching Thailand Today. I'm Kusuma Yotasmut. Hope to see you again tomorrow. สวัสดีค่ะ